welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel please do well to subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on the notification bell make sure you watch this video to the end because i have a long video i want to play to you and that video is concerning what an activist uh jimmy said concerning betty as a Durus, later Koro Durus wife you know yesterday a news broke in nigeria that on the state governor uh, wrote to me Akuro Duru has passed away and yesterday also uh, his deputy was sworn in as the new governor of Ondo State but many things have been going on behind the scene many people have been saying different things concerning the family especially the wife you know uh, the wife of late uh, Akuro Duru so in this video I want to show you a video of activists that is Jimmy Adekanle you know, Jimmy Adegandi as an activist, he came up through and he made a video concerning what this past governor of Ondo State, late Akoro Duru, what he passed through in the hands of the wife. He said, if you want to live long in life, make sure you have a good wife. And that is what I want to share in this video. So take your time, watch this video, watch it to the end so that you will see what really happened. That this Akoro Duru's death is something that maybe who knows if it maybe people are blaming the wife but i don't know what to say just watch this video good morning my good people from those state. what a black wednesday we lost our governor may god forgive him all his sins and may god accept him on his right side folks there is nothing that kills a man than having a bad wife having a bad wife you may not know but I've been following all the events Akredolu did not enjoy his last days on earth despite all the wealth and that is, and that is a big lesson to we that he has left behind here to we that it's not that money cannot buy you happiness money cannot buy debt Money cannot see, cannot cure sickness except God Almighty. And this happens if you have a good wife by you, a wife that can intercede on your behalf, either a Muslim or a Christian. When Ono State were busy praying for Akredolu, the wife said she does not believe in prayers. And today, we are we. And that is the fight I've been fighting for the past seven years that Akredolu carried our state and gave it to his family. But Tango today has come to an end. It has come to an end. But it's a big lesson to all of us. It's a big lesson even to Betty herself that she's acquired the whole of everything in this earth. She's acquired everything on this earth. Having the, the, the biggest fish pond in Nigeria, building the biggest hospital in her village, Turning a village into a mecca, having choice properties across Nigeria, in Ore, in Ibadan, in Lagos, building hotels, buying houses. They bought all the streets in, in Ibadan. They bought almost all the houses in 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 a, in, in a war. Where are we carrying all this to? Nowhere. Today, Akedulu is gone. Money cannot save him. I told you, bad wife. When Akedulu came back from Germany. Betty purposely bought him because of the economic looting in those state. He brought him, he brought Akredo just as a as a decoy for him to steal from from those state and he stole heavily. And he abandoned Akredo in Ibadan. The three caregivers given to Akredo do you know that they were not even paid their salaries? Two of them left. That was the reason why they took Akredolu to Lagos to go and stay with the brother. I can tell you that Akredolu family are not happy with Betty at all. When, when Akredolu was with the brother in Lagos, when things start getting worse, that was when they were planning to take him out of the country for the second time to Germany. I was aware until Ashwaju was able to give them an ambulance. When they beckoned at the same wife, that Akerulu brought to live life through the office of the First Lady of Ondo State. She declined going. She didn't go. It was his daughter 
Ruth said, "Where Mrs. Ruth said, daughter of Akinunu, that followed them to Jambu." She didn't go. She stayed behind. She came back to Ondo State. She's trying to still rake money. It's just all about money, money. She abandoned the husband. I'm sure Akedulu, when she went on his way to Germany, he will regret it. That, oh my God, so this woman is not there with me. No matter how bad the Yoruba, Yoruba, woman, Yoruba woman is, I, I don't, I'm not clever here, I'm just telling you the reality. The Yoruba wife will not abandon the, wife, the husband at that, at that critical hour. How would that be so, good, so nice that we heard that Akedulu died in Germany in the hands of Betty? But Betty was in Akure, was in Ibadan, Akure, Galivanting, supervising how to, how to steal money, supervising how to build the hospital, supervising how to uh, fish, uh, fish pond. When, when she had that, Akiti is gone. This is a big lesson. May our children not marry from the wrong tribe and from the wrong family. I have said goes to the people of our war and our kingdom. I know he has offended you guys too. That I feel but my heart felt so good to you guys. My condolences to the law of all. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think of this? Even though this person wants to take it to be a tribal uh, issue, but I, I think it's everywhere. We can get bad wife everywhere. Bad people are everywhere. So it does it's not by tribe. So even though it's taking making it to be a tribal stuff, I don't agree with that. Because you can get these people that will make you not to live long. You can get it everywhere. From Yoruba, from Alsa, from Igbo, from London, from Russia, from UK. Anywhere, any country, any tribe, you will get them. But I think baked, if what this man said uh, they are all true, that means Becky. Or Betty, or what was her name? Betty didn't do well. She didn't do well. Thank you for watching my video. Please do well to like my video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye.